Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Florizites F system, 10.D4 Re811.NBD2BF812.A4H613.BC2X4. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White destroyed Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. ba4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. Nf6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. b5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. d6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. c3 prepares the d2 d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. h3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. d4 gains space in the center, allows the dark squared bishop to develop and attacks the e5 pawn. Re8 puts the rook on a central file and vacates the f8 square for the bishop. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This exchange is fair. Backs off. This is the only move that works. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. This squanders a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to attack a trapped knight. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to attack a trapped knight. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a miss. This is a missed chance to capture an open file with a rook. It falls flat. White now enjoys a winning advantage as a result of this taking advantage of a mistake. It is a wise decision. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Backs off. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This keeps on until checkmate is reached. It is ideal. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is quite good. This continues the checkmate threat. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. 
both players had an amazing opening. White destroyed Black in the middle game. 